guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a review and demo on the new L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. I know there are already so many reviews out on this. Um, I wanted to do one for myself, for my friends, viewers, family, anybody who's watching because this is my new favorite foundation. Mwah! I just love it. It's so amazing. So I wanted to share it with you guys because if I'm really loving something, I think you guys should know about it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to get right into this. I ramble on about this foundation as I do the review, so I'm going to get to it. If you want to see me review the new L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow, then just keep watching. Okay. Hey guys, I'm super excited for this review today. If you have been following my channel for a while, then you know that I was ride or die for the L'Oreal Pro Matte for a while. And I really, really liked that one. It lasted a long time, great coverage. It was about medium to full coverage. Um, and I used that for over six months straight. And um, then my skin kind of started to change. I don't know what happened, but I actually noticed that I got a little bit drier. Um, Every month, about that time of the month, you know what I'm talking about, ladies, um, I do get a little bit oily, so sometimes I like to reach to that one again still, but for the most part, I did get a little bit drier for some reason. So this one I am super excited about because very similar formula, still super great, long wearing, medium to full coverage, but it's giving me that beautiful dewy glow that everybody wants right now. So this is the L'Oreal Pro Glow 24 hour foundation, which I don't know why anyone would wanna wear foundation for that long. If you're wearing it that long, I don't even wanna know what your skin looks like. Um, so you probably shouldn't be wearing this more than eight hours. And I picked up the shade 205 Natural Beige. Um, it does match my body and my neck right now, but obviously my face is always a little bit lighter. So you'll see once I get all of it on, it works with the rest of my body. But, um, as soon as summer's over, I will have to reach for a new color because this is a little dark. But what I like about this is that on me personally, it isn't dewy. It's just luminous. Obviously, if I didn't set it with a powder, I probably would get it pretty oily in my T-zone throughout the day. But it's not super dewy. It's just luminous. Your skin just looks dewy. Um, so that's one of my favorite things about this foundation so far. So I'm going to show you as usual, I, I switch off between Beauty Blender and my Flat Top Kabuki from Sigma to apply my foundations. So I'm going to show you one half of my face with a damp Beauty Blender and the other half with a Kabuki brush. Now I am going to apply the Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm as my primer. I like this primer because um, it doesn't really change the wear of the foundation much. Um, it doesn't mattify my pores, mattify my skin, doesn't make me extra dewy, doesn't do anything but really just create a nice base for it to hold on to. And I just like to apply this with my fingers. You just need a very small amount because it's pretty liquidy and you rub it onto the skin. You guys have seen me use this a few times so you know the drill. Just like to rub it in until it gets tacky. And I feel like it's a good time to do this review because I am a little bit red right now. Um, so we'll get to kind of see how it covers my skin. Okay, it's nice and tacky. Now we can move on to the foundation. So you do want to shake it up a little bit because it is a little bit runny. You want to make sure it's all well mixed together. And I don't know if I mentioned this has SPF 15 in it, which is cool. I haven't noticed that it um, creates a white cast on my skin at all yet, so that's nice. Some SPF foundations can cause kind of a white cast in photos. So this first, I'm using the Damp Beauty Blender. I have worn this foundation a few times already, so that I could give you guys a better in-depth kind of review and what I think about it. And I love it. I seriously love it. And again, I am normal, pretty much normal skin. Um, but like I said, once a month, I get a little bit oilier than normal. And sometimes I can be dry. So I guess normal to combination. So as you can see, it's covering up all of that red splotchiness I had going on. Um, I typically don't build it to like super full coverage. I like the way it is just with one layer, which is about medium coverage. But feel free to add another layer if that's what you like. 
Okay, now I'm going to switch to the Flat Top Kabuki from Sigma, which looks like this, just a nice flat top. And I like to just kind of press my brush lightly into it and then press it into the skin and kind of spread the product out and then kind of start blending. I can say at this point that I prefer applying this foundation and most foundations with a damp beauty blender. I like to use a kabuki brush with really, really thin, light foundations like the Bare Minerals Serum Foundation. I like to use this with, um, but some of the more heavier foundations I like a beauty blender because it thins it out a little bit and it just makes it look super natural and beautiful. See, to me, I don't know if you guys can see it or not on camera, but to me, this side just looks a little bit more natural, blends in with the skin a little bit better. It was also easier to apply, easier to spread out. So based on how my skin feels, I don't have any powders on yet or anything. It is not super tacky. It's, I don't feel like I'm sticky. I feel like it's just a nice, natural satin finish. So I'm going to go off camera and go ahead and finish my makeup. I'm going to apply some concealer. I am going to set it with a powder because I do that on a day-to-day -day basis and finish my eye makeup. And then I'll come back to you guys and tell you some more about it. So I did apply the rest of my makeup. I did bronzer, blush, highlight, anything that I would apply on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I didn't want to, you know, do minimal because that's not really what I wear. I usually wear all of this with the foundation. So it still looks really good. My skin is still looking very luminous and dewy, but it doesn't feel super sticky. Um, and so I'm going to go run a few errands. I have to run at the store. It is a hundred degrees in Utah today, so it's very hot. So I'm going to test this out to the fullest today. And then I will come back on and let you guys know how it looks, how it's worn. So I will see you guys in a few hours. Hello again. So I've been wearing the foundation for about six hours and so far it's looking really good still. It's not like, what's the word, kind of running anywhere. I don't have splotchiness. The only thing I notice is I am, as I expected, a little bit oily right here in my T-zone, which, you know, happens naturally with almost any foundation. Um, and like I said, it was 100 degrees outside, so I was sweating quite a bit as I was running my errands. But I'm pretty impressed with the wear of this foundation. It's still a great wearing foundation, just like the Pro Matte. And it looks beautiful. I've had lots of compliments on my skin when I'm wearing this foundation. So I'm a very big fan. So I hope you guys found this review helpful and enjoyed watching. Um, I hope to have a favorites video up very soon. I want to do... I skipped... May because I just did not have enough products to do a favorites um, but between May and June I'm able to do a June favorites in the first week of July hopefully and until next time thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon bye